uh, we're here at New Tech, and uh, we're gonna check out some of the new features, including the Network Device Interface, or NDI. Most production facilities are wired for Ethernet, but in the in the video and television world, for years we've used you know HDSDI, BNC cables. So we have created a new standard called NDI, which stands for Network Device Interface, and it's basically video over Ethernet. So any building in America now is already pre-wired to have sources of video go from a laptop to a TriCaster or to other NDI-enabled devices. Now, does it have to be a 5E network? See, uh, the, actually, the uh, NDI uh, is a IP video standard that uses a gigabit Ethernet connection. Okay. The three main are SMPTE 2022, Aspen, and NDI. Um, the other two are actually 10 gigabit standards. Okay. So our, our, we wanted to create a standard that was actually usable on existing IT infrastructure. Okay. So uh, that, that's kind of what NDI is, uh, is, is allowing. The other thing that makes us very unique is NDI is an open standard. We created it, we own it, but it costs nothing for a company to implement NDI. Awesome. So we have, we, our, our SDK for NDI has been downloaded over 600 times. We have 200 active developers. So the you know, we've got you know, everyone from Blackmagic and HAA and Chiron and VizRT to uh, plugins for Adobe Creative Cloud. So it is that, all over that's the place. exciting for the, the yeah, Creative Cloud ones. The, uh, and the NDI uh, for Adobe Creative Cloud is a $99 plugin that you can put on your Premiere or After Effects workstation. And that now becomes a live source into your TriCaster or to any other NDI-enabled device. Instead of editing a video, rendering out the file, copying it to shared storage, loading it into your TriCaster, I just go into Premiere, queue it up, hit play, and it's live on my TriCaster. You can download free NDI tools from our website, including an NDI monitor. One of the concepts of NDI is that it doesn't matter if it benefits new tech. There's going to be companies that implement NDI technology that have nothing to do with us. Okay, so you, I don't need a TriCaster. You don't need a TriCaster. It can be, you know, a, 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 you know, XSplit has added NDI. Wirecast has added NDI. Okay. I mean, they're all going to benefit from IP sources. Now, another thing that we have here at NAB that's pretty cool is we've created a, a, an app, a, a piece of software called New Tech Connect Pro. Okay. The goal of that piece of software is to be a Rosetta Stone for IP video. So, I have a video clip that I want it to be an NDI source. I load in that video clip. It plays it out live as NDI. Okay. I have a, a video source that supports Aspen. I select that as the end and I send it out to NDI. I can, send, I can convert NDI to Aspen. So it basically bounces things back and forth between standards off of a laptop. I can go to my TriCaster and in the advanced edition, I can have a directly connected SDI source, which that's what we have here. But if I open this window up, I can see every TriCaster in the New Tech booth. I can select their cameras as a source into my TriCaster. I can select their program outs. I can see it from 3Play. I can see it from Talk Show. The configuration is super simple. You install Advanced Edition. Mm -hmm. You have your other devices connected to the same network and it shows up.